Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this um, pattern mock up photo. With it, we are going to use one of Photoshop's features called Place Linked File, and I'm going to show you how to do that. For this tutorial, I am using some mock ups that I got from Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is a great resource where you can find um, graphics and patterns and mock ups that you can use. Um, with your business. With Creative Fabrica, you can purchase a um, single use license or they do have a subscription where you can pay a monthly fee and um, have unlimited downloads while you are subscribed. And I will leave a link in the description below to where you can check out Creative Fabrica. Uh, for this tutorial, I am using this iPhone case mock-up. Uh, from the artist Illusion Graphic Design, there are a lot of different mock-ups listed um, from this um, digital artist. And it's great, especially if you have the subscription, you can um, download all of these uh, different mock-ups to use uh, for commercial use with your business. I will also be using the uh, pillow mock-up case here, and I will leave a link in the description below to each of these products. Okay. To get started in Photoshop, let's go ahead and create a new document. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 800 pixels. Uh, this is going to be used as a online um, graphic, so I'm going to just bring my resolution down to 72 pixels per inch. Typically, um, for when creating patterns, you'll want it at least 300 pixels per inch, but if you are just posting to web, your resolution can be 72 pixels per inch. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click Create. So let's go ahead and set up our document here. I'm just going to use the Marquee tool and draw out a um, rectangle here and then I'll just add a new layer here I'm gonna hit D on the keyboard to get my default with black in the foreground and to fill that layer I'm gonna hit option delete for Mac users that's alt backspace for PC and that will just fill in those pixel layers so I'm gonna go ahead and deselect that commander control D here Let's go ahead and create a, another rectangle here and then we'll add a new layer and then we'll fill that again. Option delete for Mac, Alt backspace for PC. And I'm gonna go ahead and just deselect that. Accessing my move tool here, I'm just gonna bring a guide um, here to the side of this rectangle and we'll select this one as well. We'll bring a guide here as well. And then I'm just going to uh, use my um, marquee tool and just draw a little bit here. And I'm just looking here under properties to see what my width is. So for this, it is 47 pixels. And I'm just going to create a width similar um, over here. So I can uh, deselect that command or control D. We can go view uh, guides and then just clear those guides because we don't need them anymore. And then I'm just gonna add some guides. So we have view, guides, a new guide layout. In this case, I'm interested in two rows. We can put column at one. And then I'm gonna add a gutter. I'm gonna add a gutter of 47 pixels of what we uh, determined our width was over here. And I'll just go ahead and click on OK. And then I'm just gonna use that as a guide. So let's access our move tool here, clicking on this layer. Let's just bring it so it fits there. And then let's go ahead and duplicate that. To do this, I'm gonna hit the Option key for Mac. That will be Alt key for Windows. You'll just hit that key, clicking on your object, and then just dragging down, and we have our second um, rectangle here. So now we can clear those guides, view, guide, clear guides here, and we have our um, document set up. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open a new document. So I'm going to go File, New. This is going to be our pattern document. Uh, for my dimensions, I'm just going to pick uh, 2,000 uh, by 2,000 pixels here. And again, we can set it at 72 uh, pixels per inch. And then I'm just going to hit Create. 
And then I'm going to bring a pattern adjustment layer here. And then after my patterns panel, I'm going to select a pattern. And then I'm going to um, double click on this layer and just bring down uh, the scale here. We'll go try 50% here, just clicking on OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this document. So we'll go to File, Save. You can give your document a name. We'll just call it Pattern and then you can decide where to save it on your computer. For this, I recommend saving it in the same folder as our other document that we are creating with our mockups. So just navigate to your folder and click Save. And then we can go ahead and exit out of this. So to close this tab, let's go Command or Control W. And so I'm gonna go ahead and save this one now here too. So File, Save As and then just go ahead and save it in that same folder. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the feature place link file um, in Photoshop. So let's access this layer here and then I'm gonna to go to file and I'm going to use place linked and then you'll wanna select your pattern file that you saved and just go ahead and click on place. And then we can position it here in our document. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create a clipping mask. You can go right click, going down, and just click on Create Clipping Mask here. And it will uh, fill the uh, shape of our rectangle there. And then next, we are going to go to this top rectangle. I'm just going to reorder it here in my Layers panel. Uh, so for this, I'm going to have two different mockups. I'm going to go ahead and open the iPhone case mockup file that I got from Creata Fabrica. So here is the iPhone case mockup here. To add your design to the mockup, we're looking for this folder cover design. We'll go ahead and hit the drop down. And then right here is a smart object. So we're going to click on this layer, double click here. And then this is where you'll want to place your um, pattern. So again, we are going to go to File, Place Linked. And then I'm going to select that pattern layer and go ahead and click on Place. And then we will just bring it up here in size, clicking on OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this, Command or Control S. And then to exit out, Command or Control W. And then we see that it has been updated on this mockup. So let's go ahead and save this file, Command or Control S. And then we'll exit Command or Control W. So we'll, we'll access that top layer here. And then let's go ahead and File, Place Linked. And then you are going to select that um, phone case mockup that you just um, altered. So we'll place that here, and then let's go ahead and size that down. I'm just holding the shift key, sizing it down here, and then just clicking on OK. And then we'll just create a clipping mask. Again, you can right click and select clipping mask, or you could hover between the two layers here for Mac, holding down the option key. Uh, for Windows, that will be Alt key, and then just click in between, and it will create a clipping lap mask there. And then I'm just going to size this up just a little bit, holding the Shift key, and then we'll just kind of position it uh, where we want it there. And then let's go through that same process. I'm going to open up the mock-up file for the pillowcase. Uh, so here is the pillowcase mockup. Um, there is just this layer here, hide me, so we'll just turn off the visibility there. We see the pillow. And so we are looking for the uh, insert your design here layer. So I'm gonna double click on that. And then we are going to place that uh, pattern file again. So we'll go file, place linked. We'll select our pattern file, clicking on place, and then we'll just size it up to our document here. And then let's go ahead and save that command or control S. Closing out command or control W and we see that it has been added to the mockup. We'll save this command or control S. Command or control W to close it. And then we'll click on that bottom rectangle here in our layers panel, selecting file, place linked. We'll go ahead and select that pillow mockup file we just altered, clicking on place. 
and then we will size it down holding shift and click and then we'll just drag that here clicking on OK and then we'll create that uh, clipping mass hovering between the two layers option click for Mac alt click for PC and we have our clipping mass there and then you can size it a little bit bigger here and then position it how you want. So now we have our mock-up that we use the uh, place link file. And so you can save this as a graphic, but I just wanna show you the benefit of using the place linked file in creating another one with a different pattern. So currently we have our pattern layer here. We can double click on it. So I'm gonna select a new pattern here. We'll select uh, this flower pattern and I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down a little bit. Let's try, we'll just see how 30% uh, looks here. So I'm gonna save that, Command or Control S. With this, you'll wanna memorize those uh, keyboard shortcuts because it's really helpful for saving and closing out these uh, documents. So Command or Control W to close it. So it has updated here, but we just have to help it a little bit to update with these. So we'll click on our iPhone case. We'll just double click into that file, double click into that layer. And then you see this little warning thing here. This just means we need to update the content. So here under the properties panel, if you don't see properties panel, again, you can go to windows and select properties. You'll just click on this and you'll want to click update modified content and it will update that pattern. So then we can go ahead and save that command or control S, command or control W, saving this one as well, command or control S, command or control W to close out. And then we'll just do that same process for this mock-up as well. Clicking into that layer here, we'll click on this icon, update modified content, saving it, command or control S, command or control W, saving this layer, command or control S, and then closing it, command or control W to close it out and we have it updated. So there's a few um, little steps that you have to do to to get it to update. So to uh, speed up this process so you don't have to um, physically open and save each one, I've come up with an action to uh, make this process just a little bit quicker. So in order for this action to work, um, you need to have all of the important windows open. So um, we need to open up our pattern layer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that. So we have our pattern one open. And then let's go ahead and open up that phone case one here. So we'll click to open it here. And then we'll need to open up the layer for our pattern. Just hitting this arrow, I'm gonna jump back to my mock-up one. And then we need to do the same thing for our pillow layer. So let's open up that mock-up here. And then we'll also need to add double click in to add a layer with our pattern here as well. So. So you should have multiple layers open. We have our rectangle, we have our pillow mock-up, we have our rectangle that was a smart object for our iPhone case mock-up. And then here we also have our pattern layer. And then finally we have our product. Okay, so you wanna make sure all of the layers are open and then we are gonna go ahead and create an action. So I'm gonna go to my actions panel here. If you do not see it, go to window and select actions. I'm going to go ahead and create a new um, folder here. We're going to call this um, save, save all open. So we want to save all the open files. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK here. I'm going to go ahead and hit this plus icon and we're going to create a new action. So we're going to go ahead and save. And then it's in our action set, save all open. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And then we're gonna hit on this icon here, insert menu item. I'm gonna to go to file, save, clicking on okay. And then I'll just go ahead and stop that action there. So we have our action. Before we create our next action, we need to go through a step. So you're gonna to go to file, automate and batch. 
and then you'll want to set this to the appropriate thing so we're going to go to we're going to find our action set so save all open action is save and then under source you want to make sure open files is selected and then we'll go ahead and click on OK there and then it will run uh, through uh, that batch process of saving all of the open ones. Um, we didn't really have any changes, so there's nothing that we can um, note that there was a change to, um, but we needed to run that uh, before we create our next action. So we have save all open here. So let's create our new action based off of that batch process. Uh, so clicking on this layer here now, we are going to create a new action. We'll go ahead and say uh, batch batch save all we'll go ahead and record that there we'll click on insert menu item and then we will go to file automate in batch and we can see that listed here and then we'll just click on ok and then we'll go ahead and stop that action there so let's go ahead and test this out so let's click on our pattern layer we will select a new pattern here and then I'm going to uh, run this action here. So we'll go ahead and click on play. And then here you can um, make sure you have the correct thing um, set. We have save all open, action is saved to all open files. And then we'll go ahead and click on okay. And then we'll let it run, which just takes a little, a few seconds here. And so it looks like it has finished. So let's jump back to the original here. And what I have found that after clicking it once, it doesn't update, but if I run it again, it will. So let's try that. So we have our action um, selected here. We'll go ahead and click play, and then you just click on OK. And then it will run through that process here again. And then we can uh, check on our original one here, and we can see that it has updated. So, so that will save you just a little bit of time for this batch save for all open documents um, using this action. Um, so I just wanted to show you um, and demonstrate that for you here. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a pattern mockup and use the uh, place linked file feature of Photoshop. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Again, in the description, I will leave a link to where you can uh, check out Creative Fabrica and these mock-ups. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.